Most often, when people talk about NGS, they're talking about a kit or reaction that allows you to sequence the genome of a whole person or other organism. This is whole genome sequencing, and often referred to as WGS. But there's much more to NGS than just whole genome sequencing. Often, it's useful to be more targeted. For example, you might not want the sequence of the whole genome. Instead, you may just want the sequence of the exons, the bits that actually encode the protein. This is called whole exome sequencing, or WES. Then even more targeted and precise than that, NGS protocols can target specific genes. It's possible to hone in on a collection of specific genes and sequence them only. This is known as targeted sequencing, and it's a very powerful tool for investigating disease. Targeted sequencing can allow you to study a collection of genes associated with a cancer, for example, or it can allow you to identify particular bacteria from the genetic makeup of their 16S ribosomal RNA, or endless other possibilities. It's also important to understand that a next generation sequencer only has a limited capacity. So doing whole genome or whole exome sequencing may take up or even exceed the capacity of your instrument. Targeted sequencing allows you to produce data for a smaller number of genes but for a far larger number of samples at a time. Even an entry-level NGS machine can sequence the data for multiple genes for hundreds of samples at a time.